Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we like scissoring in the bathtub. I'm your host, E, and today we're talking about a monster that came to Castle Rock. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. If you're worried about spoilers for the Stephen King universe, I suggest you click away now. These videos have spoilers for all of King's work. You've been warned. First order of business is a course correction from my buddy, Patrick Costin. You can pause to read. Pat makes a good point, but I'd also like to say that this is just another turn of the wheel and there's nothing saying that the ship in Haven couldn't exist in other King universes. What do I mean by that? Well, in my original video, I proposed that the ship in Haven is the reason for all the psychic activity in Maine. You can check out my video on Carrie for that full exp explanation. Sorry for all the stumbling and stammering. I'm having a bad mouth day. Probably all that scissoring in the bathtub. Don't worry, Patrick. There's other people who pointed this out, but they kind of agree with me. Sorry about the, uh, the humming in the background. I didn't realize that my air conditioning was on and I don't have time to reshoot the video, so YOLO! But let's go into more detail about my theory that the ship in Haven, the ship from Tommyknockers, has poisoned Maine. I want to further elaborate on this theory by saying that not everyone in Maine has psychic powers, and I think I know why. Again, these are just theories, fan theories, just fun stuff, so bear with me. What if it takes a traumatic event for the radiation, whatever the ship in Haven is giving off, what if it takes a traumatic event for those things to open up in one's mind? Take Carrie, for example. What happens to Carrie in the shower brings on her powers full force, and I would question anyone who says that what Carrie went through in those showers is not a traumatic event. And then you have what happens to Johnny Smith in the dead zone with the car accident. You see what I'm getting at? But let's get to the hard connect. Richard Dees from The Night Flyer, one of Stephen King's short stories, he, he comes and visits Johnny Smith in this book. Richard Dees, of course, works for Inside View, which is mentioned in the Dark Tower series. But ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, constant readers, we have another connection that someone brought up in the comments of the original video. Beverly does indeed bring up a serial killer that targeted women in Castle Rock. Good catch there. Very, very good catch. And those of us in the know know that it ties directly back in to the Dark Tower series. But that's all my time for today. If I missed anything, if I was wrong, if you'd like to add your own theories, please do so down there in the comments. But until next time... All hail the chat!